I've got two tins of aluminium paint which I haven't opened and been very careful to keep upright. I'm wondering whether I can withdraw some of the varnish from one of the tins to produce a paint that will have a greater intensity, a shinier look to it than it already has. See what happens. So I've taken about half the varnish or base of the aluminium paint out. I'm going to apply some paint from either can onto some material and just compare the difference. I probably should be using eight brushes to do this, but I don't have eight brushes. After 24 hours, paint B hasn't dried yet. Um, in terms of their colour though, they look very similar. In fact, the paint which I hadn't tampered with seems to be, uh, seems to be a lot better. I'm going to give it another 24 hours and see what happens. Eventually both paints dried, but B took quite a lot longer to do so. When I'd removed the base varnish from paint B, what I had inadvertently done was taken out the either drying oils or chemical dryers from the mixture. What also seemed to happen was the colour from paint B became duller. It's really difficult to kind of show this on the camera because of the lighting it seems to both be very uh, reflective but in reality when you look at it from my perspective you can tell it's not the same. I began to read a little bit more about chemical dryers and I found this product here which is a dryer additive which you can mix into paint and varnish. It specifically says a special blend of chemicals to speed the drying of oil and alkyd based paints and varnishes. Adding chemical dryers to mixtures of paint increases the shine of the final uh, coat after it's dried. So this is about one litre, that's about just under half a litre, so I'm going to add one capful to B and two capfuls to A. If you could make paint out of the Terminator, this is what it would look like. So this was an interesting little experiment just to see what happens when you tamper around with paints. Uh, from doing some additional reading, it seems that adding drying agents to paints um, det can deteriorate the quality of some of the uh, finishes and their sort of durability over a longer period of time. Um, it is suggested that you should only add drying agents to top coats, you shouldn't add them to undercoats or primers. Um, from the kind of experiments that I've just conducted, I can see that the quality of the finish 
um, becomes a little bit more glossy with drying agent added um, the time it takes to actually cure does decrease so if you are in a bit of a rush um, it seems to be quite a useful thing but it's not something that's popular, like universally used as far as I'm aware uh, in any case what I wanted to know from this particular um, experiment was whether I could increase the overall shine of aluminium paint. I really like look and finish and even though it is a primer. Anyway, I think I'm going to try and do a few more videos experimenting with different type of varnishes and finishes, um, which will be a little bit of a change from some of the workshop stuff that I normally do, but I think they are kind of appropriate and interesting. Thank you.